Hello everybody, this time we have a John Deere 6170 M series which one is pretty nice and lovely look on these eyes, yes, look on the science yes, we have front lift as well and we need to do a chip tuning we need to add more power to get full potential out of this vehicle we already connected with the diagnostics after all, first of all what you need to do, you need to check all these systems and all that stuff as you can see, after the winter time Sorry about the camera. We started the engine and we have some little fault on. It says uh, motor system, uh, which means the engine system is some fault on. Uh, definitely we can do a chip tuning and uh, add more power, full potential and do reprogramming. But before that we need to do a completely diagnostic. And we already connected to the vehicle. As you can see, this is a level 23 engine control unit Phoenix. And definitely we have a little fault and problem which one is generated three times with crankcase pressure too high pressure so that means in crankcase breather, breather probably is a problem and there need to be fixed and the same we can see some old fault which one is being other error state which one is being uh, generated somehow somewhere uh, the time before and fuel pressure sensor low pressure circuit signal too low so that mean even can generate after the fuel filter pressure fuel filter element change and then yeah definitely uh, this fault will stay on crankcase pressure so let's we going to see open a bonnet and see what we can get there and what we can see there so what else I can tell you we can read the software now and see other things so as you can see, there is a DPF system and stuff like that. And this is the crankcase breather. Um, this one should be probably replaced uh, because it's probably not even possible to change and swap. So that's the thing about the pressure. And now we can see a little test. This is an oil level check in the engine. So if we pull this little trigger out, we can see what's gonna be with the pressure. So let's go inside the tractor and let's see in the diagnostics as you can see we have engine crankcase uh, pressure and we can see how much is there so another guy just pull it out you see he pulls out and now we can see how the crankcase pressure drops down and drops down to the 1.2 millibar so yes that's the thing engine crankcase pressure and the fault code as you can see stays remind on the dash so let's click now ok button so that's about the crankcase pressure and let's go back and let's go back and let's see the DTC fault codes and it's connecting to the fault code see what we have and you can see this fault is gone now and the same fault is gone from the dash himself. Let's put it back in. He's put back in the... Basically the pressure in the crankcase is pretty much very important because it recirculates the gases. And as you can see now fault code is not active. It's not active. That's because there is no pressure. Now pressure is again building up. We can definitely clean that code out. That's not the problem. As you can see the tractor is still working. In the idle RPM, we no need to even accelerate. It's very important to fix this thing, otherwise your seals can be gone. Seal from the crankshaft front, crankshaft, crankshaft back, uh, seals can be pressed out. If the pressure inside of the engine is too much and it's too big. So let's see, closer look. And we can see here, so the crankcase pressure is, uh, here you go crankshaft sensor and the signals and let's go further a little bit and well pump pressure if you see all this data you can have a look at how they look like but what we looking for is a crankcase pressure look it's getting even more 20 so we still don't have a fault code but at the moment a fault code gonna come on on the dash and definitely it can give us limp mode you can do a power reduce and stuff like that so you have to follow these steps so this is how pretty easy to check it with the diagnostics and things like that so now software is already read it and now we can do a tuning job and of course fix this crankcase pressure system
so at the moment finish of chip tuning all connected and as you can see now the crankcase pressure is very good it's 3.6 millibars so all is just perfect and the thing is already replaced okay, as you can see we did change it over this old one is a little nasty so the crankcase pressure now is just good as you can see it's completely very very dirty out in so this is very important to change that thing over so just location is in there just swap it up and we'll go on the full potential full power so now chip tuning is done 